What's up guys? This is Joram. Welcome back to my channel, The Easy Access. So today, gagawa tayo ng camera review vlog test ng iPhone 11 Pro Max. Check this out. Pero bago yun, intro muna tayo. Here's a quick shoutout to Nerasa Ferrer, Marini Ferrer from Dubai, Jim Ralph Tagalog, Angelin Fernandez. Thank you for the support. By the way, I would like to say thank you to the 400 plus subscribers. Thank you for the support. God bless. Here's a disclaimer. This is actually an implant camera review. I would like to give credits to Ma'am Rodomay Ributaso for lending us the iPhone Pro Max. Thank you, Ma'am. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button with the notification bell for more updates on my video. Now let's have the quick specs on the camera module of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It has a triple camera setup with 12MP primary lens, 12MP ultrawide, and 12MP telephoto. That goes for the rear camera setup. The front facing camera with notch design has a 12 megapixel lens and shoot 4K 30 to 60 frames per second video resolution. Now, how about this time lapse? Now let's begin with a 4K 60 frames per second video resolution. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is showing a very realistic color. Closer to what can your eyes see. In this video, nakita ko talaga kung gaano ka detailed ang camera ni iPhone 11 Pro Max. With great color and dynamic range, solid yung camera ni iPhone 11 Pro Max. Doing this video handheld is quite easy for this phone. By the way, Pura Vida Beach Resort is located at Dawin Negros Oriental. Now let's try the telephoto. First with the ultrawide, one x zoom, and a 2x zoom. Doing some cinematic shots. If you're a content creator, it's excellent for this flagship smartphone. This video is shot with a 4K 60 frames per second video resolution. This video is captured with a 12 megapixel ultrawide, 4K 60 frames per second video resolution. At this moment, sobrang na-enjoy ko talaga ang camera ni iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you have some comments and suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Now let's try the electronic image stabilization iPhone 11 Pro Max is showing an excellent job when it comes to stabilization. If you're looking for a top-of-the-line camera phone, iPhone 11 Pro Max is definitely for you. I'm still trying to test the electronic image stabilization of the iPhone 11 Pro Max but this time, I'm walking fast. This video is still shot in a 4K 60 frames per second video resolution. This video is shot in 1080p 60 frames per second resolution, still with the electronic image stabilization. On this level of image and stabilization, marami ka talagang magagawa sa smartphone na to. Wala akong masabi, sobrang realistic talaga ang video ni iPhone Pro Max. A quick shoutout naman sa Team JJ Productions. Thank you mom and sir for making this video possible. I would like to give credits to Ma'am Roda for lending us the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Thank you, Ma'am. With moving subjects, this phone is really excellent. What's up? This is Joram, the Easy Access. So I am currently testing the iPhone 11 Pro Max front-facing camera with 4K video resolution, 60 frames per second. So um, I'm using the front-facing camera again. Um, I'm here at Pura Vida. So this is the front-facing camera of the our iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm I'm still with the front-facing camera, but this time with the 
high definition 60 frames per second resolution so this is the uh, front facing camera of the I iphone 11 pro max so as you can see um, it's very stable this is the hd 60 frames per second resolution hey what's up i'm at pura vida dawen negros oriental so i'm testing out the I iphone 11 pro max the front facing camera so this is 4k 60 frames per second resolution so with good lighting conditions because i'm still with the front facing camera never mind my face if you're a small youtuber like me iphone 11 pro max is a good investment if you got that extra money i prefer buying this phone with excellent details and video and image this smartphone is good for travel bloggers by the way Thank you nga pala sa 400 plus subscribers natin. God bless. Again, never mind my face and my messy hair. And for my new content, feel free to comment down below. I will take your suggestions. Now here are some photos from the 12 megapixel primary lens. As expected, the photos are good in dynamic range and details. Here is an example of the ultrawide 12 megapixel lens. Photos from the rear camera are excellent. These photos are from the front facing camera 12 megapixel lens, portrait mode. When it comes to subject to background separation, portraits are excellent. Now here are some other shots from the rear camera. This one is the ultrawide. With this flagship smartphone, it's not about the megapixel. It's all about the chipset, the iOS 13 Bionic chip. Lahat ng camera lens ng iPhone 4 Max is 12 megapixel. Using ultrawide for panorama is great. Now here are some photos from the panorama. On the night mode, photos are really excellent with plenty of details, sharpness, and color balance, you could have a good result. Sana po nakatulong yung video as reference. Sa mga small YouTubers naman, I prefer buying an iPhone 11 Pro Max if you have an extra money. Flagship level talaga yung camera lens ni iPhone 11 Pro Max when it comes to details, contrast, and dynamic range. Thumbs up kay Apple. Yun. If you have some comments and suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Pero ano sa tingin nyo? Would you prefer buying this flagship smartphone with its price? And please take note, iPhone 12 lineup is coming soon. I am not really an expert, pero sana po nakatulong yung review ko ng camera ng iPhone 11 Pro Max. See you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button with the notification bell. God bless. Keep safe.